In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the best handiwork pals to use in your base. Now, handiwork is a skill that you first come across in the game that makes a huge difference. For example, if I had to build this by myself, it says five minutes. That's that's insane. But you can get pals with up to four different levels of handiwork that can do the work for you. Like this Lamble over here will help me do the work. And now it's down to two, three minutes, basically three minutes. Now that's level one. In this video, we're going to show you how to get up to the highest level, which is going to be like this, which you can see on its own. It can do this in 15 seconds. Now, the best thing about this entire video is that I'm going to show you how to do this while being level 20. You can get Anubis, you can get every single pal in this video at level 20. This is because you need the mixed form, which you unlock at level 19. You'll also need to be able to make cake, which is used to make the eggs. There is a video linked to the description on how to make cake in case you don't know how to do that. But let us start first and foremost with the best handiwork pal in the game. And this, of course, is Anubis himself, the one I just showed you. This one has a handiwork of level four. It's the highest handiwork level pal in the game. It also comes with level three mining and level two transporting. So it's an overall really good pal to have at your base at all times. I would recommend probably even having two or three of these, to be honest. Now, Anubis can't really be caught in the wild, at least easily. You can see here on the map here at level 47, you can catch Anubis from its, you know, raid version at negative 134, negative 95. But this is not viable in terms of catching it. You can actually breed one by using pals that are barely level 20. Now I'm going to show you two combinations on how to make an Anubis egg by breeding two pals. The first combination is going to require Pen King. Pen King is really easy to get. You can find it at a level 15 raid over here. So right over here, it's like literally just there. Pen King level 15 at 114, negative 352. And if we breed Pen King with Bushi, we can go ahead and get an Anubis. Now, the easiest way to get Bushi is actually by his, um, you know, alpha version of himself, too. So you can see as I slowly zoom into this location, there's a level 23 one over here at negative 116 and negative 489 on the map. Now, because this is level 23, being at level 20 might be pushing it to catch this one. There is another method that I have for you to try, and that's by using Sweeper. Sweeper is a very, very easy pal to get. It's literally on the map as a level 11 raid, literally level 11. You need to be 20 for this video in in anyway. So 11 is like half your level, be super easy. It's located at negative 227, negative 593. You can actually find it around the world too. And we're going to be breeding Sweeper with Tombat. Now Tombat can only be found at nighttime and it's going to be in these locations over here. It's a little bit of a rare spawn, so it's not guaranteed to spawn every single time. But at nighttime, just go around these areas of the map. And if you find one and you have a sweeper, this is going to be a super easy one. Like this thing doesn't really spawn high level. I think it spawns at around like level 10 to 15 or something. So it's not really hard to get. And if we go ahead and we throw these two pals, a male of one, a female of another, and we put them in the breeding farm, you'll be able to see that the egg process or the breeding process is going. And at the end, you should get an Anubis egg. You'll see that they will leave a huge rocky egg for me. And if I go ahead and I incubate this every single time, it will be an Anubis. I know it feels broken to breed like a level 47, like wild pal with like pals that are level 11 and like 12 but you can legit get Anubis and multiple Anubises by keep reading just through this method. The next pal I want to show you is Wixen. Now Wixen comes with handiwork level three, kindling level two, transporting level two. It's a really good early game kind of um, pal that you can use, especially because it has transporting level two as well as kindling level two. Usually you'll find these around higher levels. I, I like mostly like the, the volcano-ish area over here. I think it's around like level 25 to 30 but there's actually a really easy way to breed Wixen. And that's honestly by breeding a Lambol, I'm not even kidding you, a Lambol with a Celeray. Now these are two pals that you literally find everywhere. I, I'm sure you guys already have a Lambol. It'd be confusing if you didn't. The Celerays can be found along these coasts really specifically across the map, but like really often they spawn everywhere in those areas. Super easy to find if you come across those areas. And if you breed those two together, you'll get a Wixen. Another great pal to use for handiwork is Verdash. Now Verdash has level three in handiwork, level three in gathering, level two in planting, lumbering, and transporting. So it's a little bit of an like all rounder, 
it can come in handy in like doing very different tasks at your base. Like if there's planting required, it can fill in. If there's gathering required, it can fill in. If there's lumbering required, it's going to do it. If it need, if you need help building something, it's going to come help you. It's also got transporting. It's a really well-rounded pal to have around in your base. Now, Verdash on the map is typically found by the alpha version over here, which is level 35. A little bit hard to fight here. It's at 287.8. It's easier to breed it, and you're going to laugh again because breeding it is the most simple thing in the entire universe. I kid you not, to breed Verdash, we're going to need a Lambol. Wow, super hard to get. Lambol, and you won't believe who's next. Pen King. Pain King is another one you should have. Lambol and Pain King breeds into Verdash. Now, Pain King can be found from his raid over here, which is going to be at this location here, this level 15 Pain King over here in this little area here, right after like the, the beginner zone. Really easy to find. It's at 114, negative 352. You breed Lambol and Pain King together and you will get yourself Verdash. And then lastly, we have Lylene, who has a handiwork of three, planting of four, gathering of two, medicine production of three. Also a good, well-rounded kind of like, you know, plants, gather, and also, you know, like medicine helper. Great for helping you around the base with the stuff that you do. Now, typically, Lylene is found above level 40 in most of the things that you can do. But if you can, if you want to breed her, you can actually breed a Lylene really simply. Now, the combination to make Lylene that is the easiest is a Mosanda which can be found at around level 25 to 30 around this area of a map, in the, this habitat. And you're going to breed Mosanda with Patalia, which is also a around a level 30 pal to get. But I'm going to show you how to get like Mosanda and Patalia on their own, like breeding them individually. Because Patalia is found at a level 28, um, you know, dungeon over here, her alpha form at negative 19, negative 265. But you're going to want to try to do this at level 20. And to do that, you're going to have to breed Patalia and then breed a Masanda individually. Now, in order to breed Patalia, you're going to need Sweeper. And Sweeper is really easily found in like different areas over here and here. But even easier, you can find it at level 11 at its alpha form right over here at this location on the map at negative 227, negative 593. And if we breed Sweeper with Ruby, which is a really easy fire type to get, it's going to be found right here, here, there, or there. And literally, it's going to be like level five or six. It's going to be a super low level one to do. Breed Ruby and Sweeper together and you will get Patelia. To get Mosanda, it's going to be a little bit more tricky because we're going to again need Sweeper. Sweeper, which I just showed you how to get, you're going to need this. And you're going to breed this Sweeper with a Cyblix. Now, Cyblix isn't actually easy to get either. In order to get Cyblix, you have to breed Nightwing. Nightwing is really easy to find. You can find it all over the map. You're going to need a Nightwing, and you're going to breed the Nightwing with a Cinemoth, which is also incredibly easy to find, as you can see in this area over here. So Nightwing and Cinemoth are going to make Cyblix, and if you breed Cyblix with Sweeper, you will get Mosanda. And then, of course, breeding Mosanda with Patalia, you'll finally get Lylene. I know it's a lot of work and you're probably just going to make Anubis from this video, but you're going to need Lylene for planting and probably gathering and medicine production as well anyway, eventually. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.